we've watched them together up to this point, so we're watching this final one. Leah Hoynes and Janice Palmer are experienced phenomena viewers. We've been looking forward to it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is, you know, we wanted to see all four of them. We missed one out of necessity, mm -hmm. but we've seen the others together. The two, along with many others in the metro, came out to see the blood supermoon lunar eclipse. This type of eclipse has more than just one natural occurrence. It was a full moon and was closer in orbit than normal. Then there was the total lunar eclipse, which gave off a reddish tint, hence the name supermoon. The last time anyone has seen this rare occasion was over 30 years ago. While Hoynes and Palmer planned ahead of time, others like Vivian Marmala had to make time in their schedule. Uh, it wasn't my agenda, but I just needed my reminder because I almost forget it. So I was like, okay, I'm good for coming. So yeah, here I am. UNO opened the planetarium and the observatory to the public for the special viewing of the lunar eclipse. While some were busy finding the perfect shot, others picked a spot in the grass to view the lunar phenomena. The observatory had places to sit and view the supermoon. There was also live streaming of the moon from around the globe. UNO also had telescopes out for people to view the event close up. Others brought their own cameras. For the Omaha News, I'm Waverly Monroe.